bass resonator here coming up with another art project for that bathroom I have it says Mare Diem Seas S-E-A-S the day but these and I, I printed it off on a, a clear transparency for a printer but I don't want to lose there are little creatures on these letters and I don't want to lose those if I put some different color behind so I'm using some white UV resin to go over them so that regardless of what color is behind this you'll still be able to see these little creatures and right there's a little sea turtle and I don't want to just make the whole thing with a white background I want to do some of the same theme that I'm going with but um, I do want to be able to see these animals so just covering up the back of them the clear it would be clear and if I were just going a clear or a, a transparent color behind them that might be okay but I'm afraid that I might lose them so I'm making sure that I won't and I don't want to do all of the letter um, because I'm afraid it'll change the colors that are already there I'm just playing around with colors so this should be a lot of fun once I'm done with it and we will see it won't take long to cure this part up and then I'm gonna put some a layer of resin behind epoxy resin not the not the UV resin and then I am going to put a top coat on this because this mold has a couple imperfections in it so I'll just cover those over with that with a layer of clear so almost done And that doesn't take away from the colors. And that was crazy when I set that that uh, transparency down here just sucked on there. So that's that's nice. Uh, I thought I saw some bubbles, but they may have. Nope. There's one right there. I knew there was one. I saw it when it was going down. Looking to see if there's any more. I don't seize any more, so. And I don't want to do too much because the UV resin does heat up a lot. I don't want to do this too long because then it will um, cause that transparency to curl. So I have been thinking about stuff. I'm not wanting to have adverse reactions. on this cool artwork. I have this font called Ocean. Anyway, it's it's this cool font and it fits the theme.
Now what I did with this font or this this wording I'm going to try and do with the colors of the resin that I put in and I'm going to use a transparent um, liquid dyes, resin dyes I'll show you what I mean when I get my hand out of the way and that should be cured enough to where it'll be able to do it. Can you see the um, blue and it fades into a yellow and then this one is just a blue. I would like to see if I can get a blue up here and then maybe bring that down here and then have yellow over here so that it'll and of course resin's gonna do what's gonna do but um, that's that's my plan. So yep almost done. Again using the um, Mare Diem. Um, I looked up um, trash cans that have an ocean theme. Well, forget that. <laughs> Super expensive. So I already have this trash can and it's blue. And what I'm going to do is um, put a little bit of, of um, UV resin underneath to hold it in place and then I'm going to because it's it's got a bend to it I'm gonna flatten it out by putting weight on it like this and then um, put a clear layer of of, um, of regular epoxy resin on. I don't want to use all UV resin just because it's expensive more expensive I think than the, than the regular resin so I'm just going to put a little bit to hold it and um, in place and then I'll be able to flip up the edge and well you'll see what I'm doing um, really getting crazy with my theme so and I did scuff up this um, trash can so that it will have a tooth as they say as they say as a people at Stone Coat and uh, RK3 designs talk about when they're putting counters in place so they're having an encounter oh I'm killing myself with the puns Now this little bit that's, you know, that would actually look kind of cool. Just leave it, I'm going to leave it. I am going to leave it. It's going to take the theme of, of the, the ocean dripping down. So I'll start up here. This is fun. fun in the sun and that drip it keeps going down is gonna add to the the allure I think now my wife will probably have a different I'm trying to push that a little bit more so that it'll <laughs> ah, this is fun Fun, fun, fun till daddy takes a T-bird away. Yeah. Except when the Beach Boys sang that song. Beach Boys, look at this. Um, when they sang it, they sang really high, and I am not a tenor. So I will just leave it at this. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to just take this out in the sun and let it finish curing. Because we have some sun right now, so take advantage of that instead of wasting that little battery. Battery. Okay, so you see what I'm doing. Having fun with the theme. I'm just finishing mixing up the yellow dye. And you can see the other mixed up. I have a little bit of yellow. It's uh, a little under four ounces in here. 
3.7 and then the other one there's 8.5 ounces of the what I wanted was sky blue problem is I like sky blue so much I only had one drop <laughs> I was gone so I thought okay let me go to sapphire one drop so I went back to finally to peacock blue so that's basically what that color is I can put that in there and those other two can can go bye-bye because they are no more okay what I want to do and I don't think this is going to be this mold will hold quite a bit so I don't think it's going to be really dark behind it but I want a hint of it and if any of the resin happens to slide under like right here there's a spot where it keeps lifting up if any resin slides under that's okay I don't think it's going to hurt anything but I can possibly squeeze it out with this tool is a little silicone paintbrush type of thing okay so I'm gonna start with this peacock blue up here in this corner and go this way with it and then I'll come back in with that yellow in just a bit Jello down here. Jello, how are you? <laughs> okay, now if I can continue this over this way some more, it'll get that color scheme that I had on the the printout. And I do see a little going underneath there, so I will try and push the air out. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a big old bubble came out of there. I think that was the only spot where I had any such thing. Now, let me look around the edge, see if there's any bubbles hanging out. I don't see any. It's in my light. My head's in the way. So sorry. Okay, this is... This is coming together. Now, in order to remove bubbles on the back of this, I'm just going to spray some alcohol. Um, I don't think it's going to be a present a problem. Move that out of the way. Because um, it's going to be up against something when it's all said and done. And I don't see very many bubbles anyway, just right up, right up there at the top. I mixed nice and slow and remember I am gonna do a top coat on the other side I'm gonna flood it over um, I'm not filling this all the way up I don't care about how I wanted a translucency with the colors that I already had in there and I think I have achieved that I hope I hope I hope and the trash can let me get it I had this out in the sun I want you to see I ended up just going ahead and doing the the whole thing with um, UV resin it wasn't that much because I was squeezing it out from underneath and then I'd get some drops and I thought that looks cool so I got some more over here and then I had just a touch left of some blue UV resin and I put it in a couple spots but yeah Mata DM sees the day and I'm going to have that too. But this is going to be in the, on the floor. And it's nice and solid now. That sun baked it really good. That, the sun that we did have. Um, got a lot of clouds right now. That hurricane never did hit us. At least here. But uh, I know it's probably doing some damage up by Houston. And 
I say up by Houston is 350 plus miles northeast of us so north northeast we're way down on the bottom of Texas um, yeah we didn't get any rain didn't get any wind which is nice except we did need some rain um, but I didn't want you know you never want to have the type of rain where you have just so much come down that it's like you didn't get rain to begin with because it just washed everything away so yeah any air pockets that are on here like right here is starting to develop again um, when I do that flood coat on the other side that'll that'll fill all of that in so I'm not worried about it but the color is what I wanted so you got the blue with the yellow over here mm-hmm day that's that was the operative word for um, uh, like the sun coming up right here so that was the day okay and seas are in the water yes okay I will show you this when I unmold it this is cured up now maybe a little bit bendy but not too much it doesn't look like but that doesn't matter because we're gonna put a flood coat on the other side Yeah, you can see the little creatures really well. This mold over here. little spots where some bubbles happened and looking at it on this dark mat it's hard to tell there were some little bubbles that came up on the back side but up on the wall it's not going to be seen so well but yeah dun, 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 dun. oh that's where that resin seeped in underneath left a little ridgy right there okay so now to put a top coat or a flood coat on that pulling it out develop some dust it had some static okie doke I will mix up some resin put it on there I have had a second thought before I do the flood coat here Look at that, there's a dog here. I'm going to do a flood coat here, but specifically I want to sand these bubbles right here that developed because they are perceptible on the front and I don't want those taken away even though it would be up and it's... Ah, yeah, I just want to do it. So I'm going to do it. So I'll sand that down. I'll put a very thin coat on the back. When that cures up, then I will do the flunt, front. The flunt. A flood coat on the front is a flunt. <laughs> Did you know that? Can you say flunt? Flunt is our friend. Okay. Way too much time. Okay, look. And this still has a little lip from where I took it out of the, the mold. So that'll take care of that problem as well. Okay. I'm thinking maybe two ounces of resin if I don't use it all I still have this egg mold and wait till you see what I've done <laughs> with a couple eggs that I had that were extra um, that I used in the bathroom so you'll have to see that in the grand reveal I am very happy with what I came up with but anyway yeah I'll sand this down and do a flood coat here and uh, so that those bubbles shan't be seen anymore and it's just right here when it cured they came in and I don't know where those bubbles originated but they're there I don't want them there so I'll take care of that with a flood coat on the back and then after that cures up then a flood coat on the front <sighs> and after all the flooding maybe it'll be done okay 
on the spots where there were bubbles I put a drop of resin and I'm going and with the toothpick just pushing that air out of that bubble that's trapped because if I just put resin over the top that little bubble is not going to come out now there's still something right there but the bubble came out it was trapped there there I got those and then I'll go over it with a torch there was a little bubble here I mean a little hole there it is you just coax the bubbles out just push this toothpick down into where that is and it'll allow that air to you'll push it up and then you just wait a bit and it'll float to the top and then no more bubble it's a chore but if you don't want bubbles around the edge of something like this then this what I have learned works the best for me somebody else may have something else to do but not I. Into the shower, turn left. Ta da! Mare Diem sees the day. Look at the little critters. Oh, yeah. Coolness. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Yep, got her done.